Hi, Bruce. Uh, thanks for coming along. Yeah, thanks uh, for having me. You were one of the first people to point out the importance of the human factor in information security. What do you think organizations should be doing? They don't spend very much money on this. Where should they start? Where should they go? Well, it's hard. I mean, all security is based on people. And I wasn't the first to recognize that people are critical in security, but I was one of the people who tried to formalize and bring in some of the research from economics and psychology into technical security. I think what, what people need to do, whether you're dealing with your boss or your employees or your coworkers or your government, is to recognize that security is very much a core emotional need. And understanding how people react to security, how they process threats, how they overplay or underplay certain threats or certain security is critical. Understanding how security works. And we won't be able to build security unless we take the people into account. Now, a, a couple of weeks ago at the RSA conference in California, the Homeland Security Secretary said that what we need to do in cyber defense is the equivalent to the Manhattan Project. Uh, now, if that sort of money was going into security, where would you spend it? How, what would you do? Well, it was an interesting statement, and I'm not sure there was any meat behind it. It was just posturing. Certainly, the U.S. government should spend more money on security to clean its own house up, if nothing else. And I think it should be spent in several ways. The U.S. government can drive standards and drive security through its procurement. Right? Software has the wonderful capability of when you make an improvement for you, everybody benefits. If the U.S. government would demand real security in operating systems and databases and firewalls and laptops and fund it, right? let big contracts, we would all benefit from those developments. The secure operating system designed for DOD would be sold to us. So that's one thing. The second thing is research. There's a lot of really good research done at universities and national labs. And I think the US government should fund that. It's not a matter of funding it tactically, but funding it everywhere. Because advances come in all sorts of areas. And those are two things that I think government should do. The Manhattan Project is a secret government, let's do it our way and not tell anybody. That's not gonna work. This is software, this is mass market. It should be done in a way that everybody benefits because now everybody uses computers, everybody uses the same operating systems. It's not just the government, it's all of us. Can they control the supply chain of products coming from China and elsewhere? I don't think they can, but I don't think they have to. I mean, good security is going to be regardless of where the products come from. And you know, China has security needs too. And we're going to have to recognize that in a world where the good guys and bad guys use the same stuff, that securing the stuff makes sense because there are more good guys than bad guys. Now, in the past you've been pretty optimistic, and uh, pretty pessimistic rather, about your uh, forecasts on security in the future. Are you still pessimistic or... Is there anything that gives you hope for you know, optimism? I think I've been optimistic. I tend to be pessimistic in the details, but optimistic overall. Now, I think the details will continue to get worse. Crime will rise, insecurities will rise, bugs, viruses, but we'll survive. You know, our species, our society has this very resilient capability to muddle through. You know, and we muddle through with horribly insecure systems. Fax signatures are the norm. I mean, they make no sense from a security perspective, yet we manage. So I think there'll be a lot of insecurities and we'll be just fine. Now, now Bruce, you are a best-selling author. What's the next book? So or what book would you like to write? There is a book coming out in the fall. It'll be a collection of my essays and op-eds and articles published by Wiley. Tentative title is Schneier on Security. We'll see what happens. All right. Okay. Thank you very much, Bruce. Thank you.